I already went over in a couple of previous training videos where you can go to get the project summary report. If you haven't watched them, that's okay, I'll go over it again here. I want to show you where you can go to find a little bit more details about the cost, not just for the project, but as it's broken down by task. Again, you can come up here and go Project in the menu, down to Project Information, and click on Statistics and get the cost over here for the entire project. But if you want to see it broken down by task and in greater detail, let me close out of here. This is going to be a teaser for the Level 2 training videos. But I'm going to stay in the Gantt chart, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the table here from the Entry table, where I enter in my task, to the Cost table. And you can do that by coming up here, clicking on the View menu, going down to Table Entry, and again, any view you go to, the default is going to be Entry. I'm going to come over here and select Costs. Still have the Gantt chart here. I'm going to click and drag that divider bar all the way over to the right as far as I can, then double-click really fast to snap it to the uh, last column here. And you can see your total costs here per task. You have the, the summary cost for the phase here, or the higher level task. That just means it's grouped and you get the total of all the uh, subtasks down below. When you add them all up, you get a total of $1,380. You've got your baseline, which means at the time, like we just went over in the previous training video, we took a snapshot where we set the baseline. It said, okay, at this moment in time, this is where the total costs were at. So as we get in our actuals, or as people start saying, okay, you may have set aside uh, you know, so much money for this task here, we're actually saying it's $700. So $700, maybe it's more, it's $100 more, so you have a variance column of the difference being $100. In any case, you get more details here, and like I said, we're going to cover this in, in the Level 2 training video. Also, keep in mind that if you get lost where you're at, again, ask yourself these two questions. First, what view am I in? Second, what table am I in? Well, I'm in the Gantt chart view. If I come over here and right-click on the Collapse view bar, you can see the Gantt chart view when I select it. Gantt chart over here, but I'm in the Cost table. So to go back to the Entry table, the default that we've been in most of all these training videos here in Level 1, come up here, click on the View menu, go down to uh, the Table. You can see it's Table Cost, but go down to the Table, and you can come over here, select Entry, and Ah, we're back to square one. Click and drag the split bar over, maybe to duration, double click really fast so it snaps. And then finally, for the project summary report, come up here, click on the report menu, go down to reports, double click on overview, and there's the project summary report. Double click on project summary, and there it is. Again, we've already seen it, but click on it once to zoom in, and it gives us the project's dates, the duration, the work, and the costs. You can go ahead, of course, and print that out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.